Yo, welcome in all you slayers. Now, any game that's ever been made, there's bound to be a glitch or two here and there. It's inevitable. They can't catch them all, right? But in Diablo 2 Resurrected, there has been a ton of like weird happenstances and weird little glitches that I've been noticing. I don't know if there really are a bunch of them more since Diablo 2, or if I had to guess, it's probably just because I've been playing the god out of Diablo 2 Resurrected since it launched. So I've just been kind of seeing every little thing that could happen. But I've been clipping these weird little happenstances, and today I'm bringing you about 10 of these things that are incredibly weird. Some of them have actually been around since Diablo 2, but some of them are brand new to Diablo 2 Resurrected, and I guarantee you some of these you've never seen before. Number 1 now for this first glitch or weird thing here in Diablo 2 Resurrected, you can see we're down in the pits with my item find Barbarian. It's one of the best magic find locations in the game because the monsters are pretty weak and it's incredibly easy to find, along with the simple number of champions and unique monsters here to find them godly items. Now, usually on the second level, I always see two to three champions or unique monsters. That's what I've always understood it to be, the maximum of three. Well, actually on this map right here, I actually have four unique monsters down here on the second level of the pits like i said i have never seen this happen before if there's any way to figure out how to do this regularly this could really be a game changer for magic finding in the pits so go ahead and take a look at this skeleton right here you can tell it's unique because it's a little bit different color we're not going to count it just yet but my mercenary kills it later and i want you to keep an eye on it because this is a very important one to notice now i teleport up to the right and you see the monster go down drop one item in the potions and then i item find it boom there it goes. Now I click on the Shadow Vex, that's this uh, hammered lady down here. There she goes down, there's her item in the potions, I go ahead and item find her, and then boom, my mercenary takes out this other champion. I use item find on that one. And then here is the fourth one, and I once again use item find, get a Tal's Mask as well, but I thought that was so crazy, I don't know if it's a glitch or just incredibly rare, just a weird quirk of the game to happen every once in a while, but if we could figure out a way to get four champions on the lower level of the pits all the time, that would make this an even better magic find location. Number two. Now next up is one I'm pretty sure has been around since original Diablo 2, so I'm not gonna spend too much time on it, but you can actually teleport up this cliff and boom, outside of the map. Now pretty much how I think this has happened is where two tiles come together and there's a seam of some sort and it just causes some glitch to where you can teleport outside the map. There's a couple places in Act 5 where you can do this. Here we are in the Frigid Highlands, and there's actually some ground out there that you can see. You can tell you can put down Hydras and stuff like that out here. It's just as if you're on ground, but there's just some of it outside of the map here. Now a second place later in Act 5 that I know of here is in the area's plateau, and once again it seems to be a seam between where two tiles come together. You can teleport, boom! right up here and you can kind of see where the tiles sort of come together once again there's not really a whole lot you can do out here there is no ground though it looks like you're just standing out in outer space with some snow essentially but it's just kind of an interesting funny glitch number three now the third one here isn't so much a glitch but just kind of a funny way that the game happens when you're on the higher players difficulties and you have a bunch of these super chests out here in the arcane sanctuary now the platform started to get full of items just from killing the monsters and then boom the items just shoot down the platform because the entire original area out at the end was completely full of items so really it just looks absolutely hilarious when you pop all these super chests and the items fly almost down to the opposite platform because there's just so much stuff number four now, crazy enough, look at what I find off of Vandaro. Never seen this one before. I actually get a YouTube like button and subscribe button. Yeah, make sure you hit the like button for me. Helps you on the YouTube algorithm. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe up. You can always change your mind later. Number five. Next one up here is very similar to the last one. I'm just out here doing a terrorized blood more with almost a full game. I mean, the monsters don't get any easier than the blood more, right? Well, Actually, you can get super chests inside of some of these little houses out here. So I look under the bed, I pop the super chest, and it absolutely explodes with items. There's too many items to fit inside the house. They blast right out the door like a fire hose. You get the drink from the fire hose! Uh -huh. Okay, you ready? Yeah! Open wide! 
and actually looking at where my camera is, they almost hit me right in the face. It's another one of those things, not necessarily a glitch, what's going to happen, but it just is absolutely hysterical to me. Number 6 Back to another glitch here at the Arcane Sanctuary. Now, most people know if you kill ghosts that are over the outer space area, you aren't going to get your items, just nothing will drop. Well, in some cases, that is not always true. Sometimes if you kill them over the outer space area, they actually do drop an item, but you can't get to it. It's stuck over outer space. And that is what happens right here. The ghost is actually stuck behind this weird pedestal, drops me a small charm. Now, I promise you that's probably a 32020, the most valuable small charm in the game. Most likely anyways, but unfortunately you can see it floating over there right next to that ghost body. I cannot get to it in any way. So this is an unfortunate glitch. I wish it would get fixed, but I mean, at this point in the game, probably not going to happen, huh? Number seven. And now we get a funny Diablo glitch. It really has no practical use. There's nothing really going on with it, except absolute hysterical. Now, we forgot to hit one of the seals, so Diablo never spawned. I went over to check if it was this one, but someone had already got which one it was, and they killed Diablo while it was gone. Now, I'm not sure why, but he got stuck in sort of an animation. I zoom in and look at him. He's just frozen in time and then uh, 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 and down he goes. Just kind of a funny Diablo glitch of him getting frozen in time. Number eight. With the next glitch, we're out at the Arcane Sanctuary. Once again, I don't know why so many things are happening out here. But this one monster becomes invincible for a second. You can tell it's not server lag because the other monsters die, but this one was not taking any damage. I tele stomp on his location, and then it actually flies me to where the monster actually is. Not where I'm seeing him on screen, but instead to where the game thinks that the monster was at. Now that's another one that gets filed under just weird. Number 9. Last up is one that is used all the time by speedrunners right here. This is actually from Kano. He's an amazing speedrunner. It takes me like a billion tries to get this to work one time. So I figured I'd just show a clip from one of his most recent speedruns where he has a crazy time beating normal. Make sure you check that guy out if you haven't heard of him. I probably learned a ton from all these different speedrunners in Diablo 2 Resurrected. But as you can see, if you time it right, you run out of that particular chamber and then back in and then back out again. And for some reason, Bale gets like confused. There's a little glitch in the game where he thinks that the wave got sent down and that the wave is now gone from the room. And then he goes and proceeds to the next one. Here he actually gets all five in a row, which is incredibly impressive because it really does make it look easy, but it's not. If you try to learn how to do this, it will take you a long time to be able to perfect it. The most crazy and shocking thing to me is that this glitch was discovered like 20 years, two decades after the game was launched, and I think it had been around since the beginning, but obviously it'd be so hard to find something like this. There he skipped all five waves, and he's moving on now to fight Bale. Absolutely amazing. Number 10. Now this is a pretty goofy one that I think would not even be remotely possible if not for Diablo 2 Resurrected, because what it does is it takes advantage of the widescreen. Before, you had more of the square box screen back in the day because they didn't have the widescreen monitors. But now you can actually teleport a little bit further because you have the widescreen monitors. And for some reason, I decide to try to teleport this huge gap and I don't make it. But for some reason, my mercenary gets stuck right in the middle. Super weird. I don't really know what's going on, but I try to turn and run away just to see what happens. And I'm kind of like, locked in place. I don't know, it's almost like the game thinks I'm in the middle of this gap, but I'm actually not. So it's pretty weird what's going on right here. I go ahead and try to teleport away and it pulls my mercenary right out and I can move perfectly fine. And then I try to teleport from the other side and I'm also stuck. So pretty weird little glitch going on in this particular tile right here. One of the other people in the game and a channel member goes ahead and tries it out and you can kind of see what it looks like to everybody else. It looks like you're trapped right in the middle of it and you're like flickering back and forth. The game is really glitching out in it. It really, what is even going on here? This is one of the crazier ones that I've seen. Not useful in any way, but just kind of crazy. <laughs> 